Once upon a time, two men, let's call them Peter and Sam, were given options to drive on two different roads. Peter chose the straight road and they had to drive a thousand miles. And Sam chose the, you know, windy, the bumpy, hilly, and irregular, spontaneous road. Peter was so excited that he had chosen the straight road because it was extremely smooth as he drove. There were no bumps, there were no hills, there were no valleys. It was straight, it was smooth. The terrain was amazing. There was nothing to see. There was nothing new. In the beginning, Peter was so excited. He didn't have to do anything other than sit back, turn on his cruise control, relax, listen to music, and just keep going. But after driving for a hundred miles, he started getting bored because there was nothing new, nothing challenging. No hills, no bumps, no corners. It was like, oh, this is boring. Oh, when am I getting to the end of this? I don't want to be here. Oh, no, 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 no. He started regretting. But that's what he had chosen. Smoothness. Certainty. And after another 20 miles or so, he started dozing. And as a result, the road ran off the, I mean, the car ran off the road and he flee, and, and he got into a horrible accident. Now in the hospital, when he came back, when he came around, he was crying. He was like, oh, no, no, no. I, I thought I thought I had made a good choice. Uh, what did I do? I crashed my car. I, I got bored. Now let's go to Sam. Sam chose the irregular, spontaneous, uncertain road. And after driving for about 10 miles, there were bumps, big bumps. The bumps almost threw him off the, the steering. He had to control the car. After another 20 miles, oh, there was a diversion. He didn't have a GPS. He got lost. He had to find his way back after many hours of failing, trial and failing. He was mad. He was like, no, 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 I don't like this road. And after driving another 100 miles, he went through all these challenges. The, the, road, the road was hilly. There were flat somewhere. As another time, he had to come out and push the car. It was so hectic. And another time, he was driving. This, this, the, the animals ran out of the forest. He had to stop the car to avoid hitting them. Oh, at the end of the, before he got to the end, he's like, I made the worst choice. This is horrible. But guess what? He arrived at his destination. And when he got there, he had so many stories to tell. He had learned a new road. He had seen animals. He didn't even know that he could be able to navigate and push the car out of the flood. He, he didn't even know that he could control the car the way he did. He didn't know that he could spend many hours driving because he had never done it. He was stronger. He felt more confident as a driver because it was so challenging for him to drive in such uncertain circumstances. And at that moment was like, oh my God, I'm different. This is amazing. Now the rationale of the story is life. That's how life is. People who are on a straight path where everything is handed to them on a silver plate, where there are no sad challenges, where everything is certain, never grow. You see, there is no way you can grow muscles unless you go to the gym and lift certain weights and feel certain pain. You have to exchange some sort of energy for growth. So if everything is all right all the time, there is absolutely no growth. You see, Sam grew because he was exposed to all these opportunities. What we call challenges and obstacles are opportunities to shed off a layer of fear so that we can access our brain, our inexhaustible resources, and use them. 
you know what we call a challenge sometimes is a lesson that hey it, it's actually a revolution that listen you thought you couldn't do this actually you can so I'm here to encourage you today that regardless of how difficult what your road could be or how life is treating you, just sit back, just become a witness just for one minute and know that you are being trained, that whatever challenge you, you are experiencing at the moment is an opportunity for you to learn something, an opportunity for you to grow, an opportunity for you to let go of the fear, an opportunity for you to identify a skill, an opportunity for you to become stronger, an opportunity for you to forgive, an opportunity for you to love. In every experience, the law of duality will always prevail. Because as you're experiencing bad, good is at the other end of the spectrum. So hang in there, well knowing that your experience is never lost. You know, one time, T.D. Jakes once said that when you are appointed for a very important position, you have to be anointed. So these challenges, these problems are anointings. They are trainings. It's education, free education from the creator for our upcoming positions. And you know, another quote by Haruki Murakami, he said that, and once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through. No, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain, when you come out of that storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what the storm is all about. So hang in there, girlfriend, boyfriend, brother, sister, because that storm mm, 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 might be washing away the dirt of the conditioning that we are all exposed to in the human condition. So be encouraged, be uplifted. Now, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll be posting an inspirational story every week. I hope this has really inspired you. And in the interim, I'm sending you abundant love from my heart to yours. Bye for now.